I'm bleeding out this abscess. I was working in between the gap on the front of the wisdom tooth, and then it started to bleed out. So this is my big opportunity. I really need to take it. And then I put this thing on. I'm just trying to put a little pressure. I, I tried not to put it too tight because I don't want to choke myself. So what I'm doing here is just trying to put a little pressure on the neck so that anything that's stuck up in the neck will get a chance to escape. More or less, these teeth are like corks. And then you know, one way is just to pull the teeth and let the stuff flow out. But I don't want to do that. I want to keep the teeth. This is the Montana Jack. And I got there in the hole. And then I'm also trying to clear the area around the hole, too. And I'm just going to bleed this out for a bit longer. And it should start to readily bleed fairly soon. So what I can do is try to stick with the tooth. I'm pretty much just doing it on from this side. I'm not doing it on both sides. This is just going to take a while. There may be no reason why I shouldn't do it from the outside. There is a buckle nerve there, which I'm a bit concerned about. Yeah, okay, here we go. Here we go again. So I got two things going on. One is bleeding. The other is I might as well clear it out too while I'm at it. Yeah, it's just a lot of stuff. Could be quite a bit of bleeding out here. Maybe this pressure is, is useful. Well, it turns out this is just the thing. Like I said, you should try to bleed it out as much as possible. And I, you know, I was going to wait, but... I should forget it. There's a lot of stuff, huh? I should try to stick it out. Very likely this is the stuff in the neck. And then Pretty obvious there's going to be more. So try to try to clear the path while bleeding it out. To work the tooth, to stick with the tooth. It's very easy to get confused. Very easy to get confused. And then it's sort of hard to say what's what. Okay, but let's take a look at this. It looks like I'm really on to something here. This is a pretty fair amount of stuff. Most of them are fairly small, but there's a lot of them. So again, what I'm trying to do, I'm not saying I'm always successful, but I'm trying to work my way down the tooth. And there's an obvious hole where this stuff is coming from. But around the hole, I'm trying to clear the hole at the same time the area around the hole. And I don't know, maybe just forget it. Just just deal with the hole. Because see I got all this stuff in my neck. You know, maybe that's why I should be worried. But still, see I got this kind of membrane. If I can get this membrane loose Okay, this, this comes out. Yeah, so anyway, what's happening is I'm just kind of working this point. It does seem to be getting smoother at the same time. Okay, so here's a few more blobs. Here's a few more. There. Same thing. So I'm doing is I'm working the point around the hole. It's getting smoother. It just goes and goes. So, well, it's pretty clear it's not going to bleed out last time, that's for sure. Probably not going to bleed out this time either. But what is happening, hopefully, is some of the stuff that has escaped is going to drain out.
Okay, let's just try to keep a clean field here. Here's some more. Okay, this is just going to bleed be bleeding for a long time. It's just going to happen. So here's a whole bunch more. You know, they're all fairly small. But there's got to be about 20 or 30 of those, along with the ones I'm, I've gotten before. If we take a look at this, and if you can, you can't actually see it that well, but okay, so here, here's some more. And you can see there's got to be a lot. There's certainly a lot of blobs in there, that's for sure. And this is granulation tissue. And you see it just keeps bleeding. 